And looks like there's about a 10 second delay there. Welcome one and all. Greeting ladies and gentlemen, those that are neither and those that are in between. I am the Sarcasm Detector. I'm also known as the Yellow Life Cat on Twitch. And I am a cat, a VTuber, and a variety streamer. And today we are playing a little bit of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So I like to do chill and calm streams for the most part. I like to think of my streams as a nice laid back place on the internet. There may be mayhem and shenanigans going on on the screen itself. But I will be my regular calm and laid back self. Or I'll try to be. We got some uh, good music by backing tracks. Rock and heavy metal and stuff going to be playing with us tonight in the Viking theme. And as you can see, I'm also riding a bear. I picked up, I don't know where I got the bear from. It just, I was looking in the stable and I had a bear bound. So I, I got it for free. Hey, fragrance. How you doing, buddy? Welcome to the YouTube channel. Uh, a couple other things that got upgraded. I have changed to the uh, Brigandine armor set. I got that all leveled up and stuff, and now I have two short swords, Dur Durandel and Egbert, and I still need to put the ruins in them, right? Or a little stone. Let's see, what do we have? I increase critical damage when close to full health. That sounds like really good. And then... Assassination damage, attack damage, uh, some crit would be nice. Hold on, sort by. Let's sort these. Oh, wow, okay, that's better. Greater stones here. Uh, attack. Uh, finesse. Okay, I don't seem to have a lot of these crit ones, do I? Greater rune of finesse. Actually, I do. Maybe I don't need to go and search for these. And maybe some crit damage. Crit damage, crit damage. We're increasing crit chance, so having some crit damage should be helpful. Maybe I, maybe I have no idea what I'm doing. It's fine. Let's put ruins in this one as well. Sort you out. Increased range damage. Increased attack after heavy finisher. Increase crit chance after each hit up to 10 times. Oh yeah. Uh, attack damage? Sure. Is there another one? There's back damage, heavy damage. some some stun damage then increase stun yeah okay that makes sense where's the other blunt there okay so increase stun the, the blade itself has increased stun damage uh, let's see is there an increased stun on this side <laughs> Detonate the sheep bomb. Increase speed looks interesting. Oh, and there's increased crit chance when surrounded by. Uh, that would actually be probably good on the first one. Increased attack. It's 
Is there no, nothing specific to stun? That seems pretty good. Incre increased critical chance when surrounded. I think that one's better. Uh, we should probably socket the rest of our armor. But in reality, we should actually get on with the game. Um, I want to head over to Astar. That's why I'm in, I was in this area. At least we have something on our weapons, right? I think something on our armor might be... Well, you know what? Uh, at least we can put... Like, the stuff that has... The diamond things, we can put stuff in that. Increase armor when stunning an enemy. And we can have multiple of these. Increased evasion after each hit. Increased evade. Increased range damage. I like this. Inc Brigandine. Increased speed when surrounded by two more enemy. Uh, so increased armor and speed now. Cool. These don't have, but this does. Increased range damage is probably the best one. Quite close to full health. Increased critical damage when low health. fine for now do we have an upgrade for the quiver we do oh wow. okay that's gonna be a new playing style uh, drink the Asgard potion now there's one more thing I wanted to check which is uh, animus change Eivor's behavior we have it set to let animus choose Or that's what it should be set to. And how that works is, well, supposedly, according to my information or how I understood it, is that whenever we are in Norway or Asgard, it will have the male Ivor. But whenever we are in England or any other location, it will choose the female Ivor. And the last time I messed with that, it didn't switch me over, so I'm female I4 now. Let's see what happens. And let's head back to Asgard. How is your afternoon going, Fragrance? You still at work? Sequence is these sequences are Ivor getting her. Ah, okay, look, it worked. The Nornir told me you'd be here. The cord is forged. Gleipnil, I call it. 
I'll wager there's a good story behind that wound. A tale for another time. Thank you for this. When you bind the beast, spare no loose ends. The cord will stretch or shrink to fit your needs. How tightly will it hold? The beast may resist. The more you tighten the cord, the stronger it will hold and the greater it will hurt. Till the beast is rooted to the ground. Thank you, Ivaldi. You may go. You mean from Asgard, do you not? My debt to you is paid in full? Yes, as promised. Thank you, Harbin. I... Uh, I did not expect you to remember. Where will you go next? Under the mountains of Svartalfheim. Our mountains. To free the Earth's riches. For this is what I know best. Glipnir, okay, so we get to finish that part of the story. This is actually pretty fantastic. Uh, so, what was I saying? Um, these these sequences are actually memories for Ivor, for the female Ivor, who is the, uh, the actual canon character of this game. Um, the male, ha the male uh, Ivor here, or as he's known in Asgard, Happy, is actually Odin or Odin's memories and it is memories of an Isu and it's being interpreted by Ivor through the lens of her Norse mythology so this is why it's so actually Asgardian let's pick up a couple of arrows here uh, speak to Tyr. Where is Tyr? 700 meters that way. Do we... I was like busy explaining stuff. Uh... Now we have to take a boat to get to Tyr, apparently. And if I remember correctly, there's boats all over the beaches, so... We just have to head down. Actually, what what pet do I get? Oh, we get we get we got this elk. Yeah. Not where I want to go. Oh, technically, there's boats down there as well. This is horrible, man. You poor thing. This glitch happens all the time, by the way. Okay, this is future content, possibly, maybe. Okay. There is a way down. I know that. I have been down there. Should be a teleporter. All right. Uh, well, dude, like I, that sounds like it hurt. And I hope you take it easy on yourself. Just sit back, relax, eat some candy. Wink, wink. And. Uh, Stay away from anything too strenu strenuous. Uh, keep it like quiet, dark. And for you know, whatever you do, don't don't uh, don't watch any of those screamer streamers, man. That'll give you a bigger headache. Find find a nice chill cat to watch. That that's that would be my recommendation. Which reminds me, how did how did you survive that uh, 
that last encounter. I, see, I seem to remember during someone's stream or something or other about you getting a, uh, a surprise visit from your in-laws and you had found out about it mere moments after uh, splurging on some candy. And then at my own prompting went even further, uh, further in. But I was just, just curious um, in knowing how that, uh, how, how that turn, turned out, if you even remember. Oh, oh, oh. We are no longer. settles it then, right? Tyr! Are you near? Yeah, that basically <laughs> settles it. Like, make sure to give you a more of a warning, head warning next time, right? Wink, wink. weapons set up. This is going to be interesting. Javi, you're a bomb to my eyes. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start it was a kind creature. Our mistrust and cruelty have robbed the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that will test our strengths combined. I fear he is possessed of a power that renders him ever living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash whose magic will signal that he is safely secured. An assurance to the Aesir who fear him. A beacon, that is all. No harm will befall the poor Fenrir. Fenrir, yes. You know the creature's name. Did Loki tell you? He did. It is a fine name. Yes, Dweller of the Fence. An apt name for his current fate. Henry! A good word has come! Leave me. I wish you well, Great Wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir... Worry about your growing size and strength. Right now. And what do they have to be afraid of, old friend? Harvey brings a collar fashioned by the dwarves. A beacon that we may track from a distance to know where you roam. 
Wear this, and you may live and thrive in Asgard without worry. Oh, I smell something sour. Wear the color. I'll return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki, have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Be swift, Harvey. You speak in riddles. The home of the gods turns red. Red with gold. These words of prophecy. Mm. 
here somewhere. There's a sequence that I'm missing. That. Things. This is the tale I tell myself each night in the cold and dark before I sleep and dream of tasting your flesh. Let's pick up more hours and just try to keep fighting this. Oh. <sighs> 
Hell yeah, all right. Well, that's one thing out of that. We might have got some other thing. I want to complete, uh, I want to complete the bear. So we'll do this manually for now. We're almost complete on the bear side. Speak to Tyr. strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. If I could have done this any other way. There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Fate, I know. You made a great sacrifice on my behalf. It was not for you. Do not think your kindness has made you a new friend, Lord of Imbeciles. I will kill you, all of you, gorging on Aesir flesh. You may strike the final blow, son of Loki, but I will savor my years of freedom before we meet again. <laughs> Come, old friend. The healing hands of Freya can help you. Have you come to say what I fear? Not to say, but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tight to your belt. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray stubbornly clings to the weave. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire rains upon your heads. And the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will surge to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. <sighs> it is done. Time to face our end. not okay so uh, what is there left to do head back to uh, wake up I guess and just check the map like there's literally nothing else left we should we should do this jump again <laughs> Thank you. 
help my mouse camera up far enough to get a look at that. All right, let's get out of here. We actually managed to finish off the Asgard uh, campaign. I don't know why I was holding on to that particular mission. I didn't know it was that actually that short. We got a good fight, boss fight. And now we get to go back to being Eivor. have awakened with more to share i hope i returned to asgard and what did you see i bound the wolf Fenrir, loki's son with an unbreakable cord the beast was enraged by my actions we fought and i prevailed but i could not kill the beast you visit lore and legend Things I would never have imagined to be real. Parables, yet here you live them as memories. Every moment there was as tactile and as vital as you and I seated in this hut. This is wonderful. Was there more? There was a... a betrayal. I betrayed my friend Tyr. I stood by as the great wolf mauled him. Tearing his arm off at the joint. I could have said something to prevent it. Given him a warning. But I did nothing. How did it feel? I was unmoved by his pain. Not hateful, but I did not regret my indifference. A swig of poison that drinks like wine. Selfishness unmeasured often feels this way. What else did you see? Basically saying Javi was a sociopath. I witnessed a final vision from the Nornir, the coming of Ragnarok. All was fire and ash, a chaos like a foul wind from the depths of Genungagap. But we were ready for the coming storm. Eight of us. We drank the mead, then stood and marched to our doom. That was the end of the Nornir's prophecy. How curious. Was there more? I can make sense of no more. I see. The thrust of these visions seem clear to me. As in your first reverie, a fear of betrayal hangs upon you. Odin has seen fit to gift you with his infinite knowledge and the treasure of his experience. Perhaps his tale is a warning. The indifference he felt is a great pity. See that you do not follow this same road. To do so would risk a loneliness, a personal exile, worse than death. I understand, or I hope I do. Thank you, Valka. And a little bit more experience. Not enough to get any more power points, but... We, we seem to have finished this part. I, I'm visiting other supernatural realms. Oh, I hate that teleport bug. Apparently, there's going to be more DLCs coming. Um, one of them seems to have uh, maybe the, the Dwarven home. I forgot what it's actually called. Uh, I'm not going to call it Dwarvi because that's not its name, but there has been some leaks and stuff like that so that's upcoming in a future dlc we haven't even finished the main storyline let alone gotten into the dlc's uh which is not 100 percent technically true i went into the paris dlc just at the very start uh in order to get access to the map and i went and i picked up these two swords and then i came back here so there's like the, the intro mission I kind of had to do that to get in there. Uh, but I feel guilty about it. I don't really. I'm Let's grateful see. to see Basim returned. There's so much more I wish to learn from him. 
Here. Give some more medallions. Smart few members of the order. Another one. You are certainly proficient as a token of my deep gratitude. I want you to have this. Thank you. Fire strike has been upgraded. There are yet more to claim. Yeah. Uh, fifteen. So what? What we give him? We gave him eleven, or do we give him twelve? So we need to kill at least let's say eleven. So we need to kill four, four more people for the next one. Yeah. Okay. That's. Good. I have to go. Then go in peace. The, all the others are locked behind the story content. Like everyone that is unlocked has been killed, and there's still a bunch that have yet to be found. And these are all story bound. So let us actually finish finish this story then. Let's find what our next oh, mission is. So glad to see you. Hey puppy. Oh, we did kill a legendary creature, did we not? We did so. Impressive. Never seen anything like it. Petra's Ark. We got a bow. And a tattoo. Very nice. Is that it? That seems to be it. Okay. Beast of the hill, bear of the blue waters, and then an, uh, still a couple unidentified animals. Uh, hunter deliveries, do I, I have any? For you. Oh, okay. Never mind. Let's go back. Yeah. I have to go. See you soon. Hope to see you again soon. So let's go talk to Ranvi and. Get us another location to carve out. I, wanna, to I, I do want to finish this. So let's get this done. I want to see the Alliance map. So what do we have next? We have uh, Gloucestershire, Nottinghamshire, 160, 220, 250. This is 190. Ah, this is your Rick, okay. Uh, let's do Lincolnshire for some of this stuff. What about Lincolnshire? A rather boisterous man named Hunwald arrived recently, wishing to speak with you. On a matter of great importance, he said. Where is he now? Down at the docks, carousing with my scouts and scaring the fish from the river. He waits for you with great eagerness. Yeah, I was doing them in order from least difficult to most difficult, trying to get them out of the way as quick as possible. He sounds charming. I will meet him at once. Protect your ears. Ears? I love my ears. Definitely gonna protect them. Down by the docks. Do go back to Norway eventually, so we will see more of male Havi. Happiness, isn't it, men? Life in the rough, in the company of friends. You may think this odd, but our lively chatter here has inspired in me a short poem. May I recite it for you? Go on, Lord the Boy. Make me tremble. Oh, indeed, I shall try. I call it "Ode to a Hungry Flame." Another skull come to join us? Me? Oh, goodness, no. I'm no scald, no. Just a humble nobleman with an interest in versification. An amateur, really. Shall I continue? I'm not here to judge your poems, Lord. Speak your purpose or down your meat. Y yes Sorry. I have come with the hope of meeting Eivor, the great warrior of this clan. If such an audience is possible. You must understand that Eivor has more enemies than friends in Mercia, Lord. Before I drag you off by your knob to meet her, I would like to know your name. Yes, forgive me. 
I am Hundwald, loyal son of Lord Hunbeor, the current elderman of Lincolnshire. May God keep and cure him. You see, my father is ailing, and in his delirium, evil men have corrupted his judgment. A secret and powerful order, if the whispers are true. Only a month ago, without forewarning, Mercian soldiers chased me, his only son, from my home. I know not why, but I do know my father would never have ordered my exile. Outcast from your family, that is a hard road to walk. Could one of your clan help me return to Lincoln? March beside me through the city gates and set me at my father's noble feet once again. Oh boy, all right, this is uh... Half wittingly, it, this is almost like a trap kind of feeling. Uh, I suppose we can get something out of him. We can hope for something in return. Are you worried your father or his title? What do you still have for a sick elderman? A sick elderman. Huh. It's kind of cruel. Yeah, what's the, what's the point of us going over there? We have to we, we gotta do it. I got a friend, right? We can help you for something in return. It may be we can help you, but we'll want something in return. An alliance between our clan and yours. And you shall have it. My father is a great friend of the Danes, in spite of the recent wars. You sing a sad song, Hunwald of Lincolnshire. A son robbed of his father's protection, now desperate to prove his honor. How far will you go to regain it? To a bloody end? Oh, indeed. I will plunge into the heat of battle to defend my father, knowing our cause is a righteous one. All right, young lord. My clan has need of me just now. But when I'm ready, we'll find your father together and right the wrongs you've suffered. Ah! You are the chieftain here. I suspected as much. God praise you, Eivor. I won't be leading you into the heart of a shield wall, but there will be danger. I want your word. You will follow my orders to the room. I am yours to abuse. If it comes to that. I'll wait for you in my safe haven, Bottleston to the northeast. From there, we shall make our way to Lincoln. Goodbye, Lord Boy. Safe travels! God bless and keep you all. I fear I may be escorting that boy to his own execution. That might shut him up. Uh, my, my Vikings here were having a right old laugh at that lad. I don't blame him. You guys had a good funny. Uh, you are a, uh, you're a hire someone's recruit. If the strength you require, you need look no further. To yeah, me, I, warrior, I, let I gold recruit. and glory be our meat and me. I like recruiting the other members and stuff here. Uh, what hey, are you? Lord? What are you supposed to be? Uh, some right, of my Vikings. Bring out my lieutenant. I'm gonna update her. What does she wear? Like just raving boss stuff. Okay, I want to give her the brigandine set that I am wearing, or make her a, a knight of the round table. Yeah, you know, hell, even the Wayland stuff. I haven't, I haven't touched those, have I? No, I have not. Okay, I'll make her brigandine. No, this one. We'll give her a better shield as well. Oh, did I? I, I, I went and took down the shield, didn't I? I did. So let's give her like a sword. Oh, 
or spears, so I want to give her dual spears. Huh? That'd be funny. Uh, okay, let's give her like let's give her the exact same swords I have, and that's why she's my lieutenant. So Durando on that side, and we'll give her like Raven's Peak. Yeah. I must take my leave. So long. Cool, cool, cool. So, uh, uh, I, I don't get to see that much, but when, like, if other people are uh, hiring her and she's seen around in the wide world somewhere, the web, she will look exactly like I look at the moment while wearing the same clothes, for the most part. Wonder, can we add tattoos to them? Huh. So our next mission now is then to head over to somewhere up here. All right, so I'm guessing we're going to have to uh, unlock quite a bit of Lincolnshire so we can fast travel there and then boat over. Should be fine. We will do that right after this break, so I am just going to... Take a quick stretch break and return for those of you watching live. Stick around. I'll leave the music playing for you guys. And for those of you watching the VOD, there will be a link popping up here somewhere, probably where my head is. Down the corner somewhere. Uh, there should be a link. Uh, going to the next part of the video. So again, I'll just be a couple of minutes and returning. <laughs> 